we're set up and running on this big old Cape Dormer porch in the front, deck in the back, garage barn over there, a little bit of picket fence here and there. And we are roof washing. We're doing this roof, this roof, the other roof in the front. First thing we're doing is pressure washing though, because I'll try to get under the sun here. I don't know if you can see, but the sides of those dormers are nasty. Very, very dirty. Same with this side, very dirty. So we need to wash first so that we're not rinsing everything off the roof and down the gutters. Here we go. All right, the first thing I'm doing is getting soap on all the really nasty stuff. We want the longest dwell time on the dirtiest parts. So taking care of that first, then I'm gonna come back through, hit some more details with the wash. But let's get this set up softening up and thinking about it all right we're out front up here by the dormers i came up here and manually washed these they were so dirty and we're fan tip spraying here today i'm gonna get one nice coat on here with a fan and then i'm gonna come back with the shooter tip and run the peak out I'm trying to create the least amount of runoff here as possible today. I've diverted the downspouts down below to the best of my abilities, but there's still some SH going to go where I don't want it. So we're trying to minimize that best we can. And I just had my machine shut off, my power washer shut off, when I first got started, it's been running now for 20 minutes, but it shut off and I assumed it was starving for fuel because my fuel line was pinched, but in fact, my low oil level light was on. Thankfully, I had about a half a quart of oil with me, which I added to it and it's been running fine since. So at the end of the day today, we'll be doing an oil change on that machine. It's probably, I wouldn't say overdue, but it's due. And after this wash today, I basically have gutter cleaning for the rest of the day. So all I gotta do is get through this project, but I'm thankful to have had a half a quart of oil on the truck. Otherwise I would have been reeling it back up and finding my way to the parts store, which I'm nowhere near, so. To keep a little extra stuff on your truck. You can tell pretty quick if you're making the reaction or not. This stuff has turned white pretty quickly, so I know I've got a nice hot mix. Okay, now for the favorite part of the day for me is taking the shooter tip shot peak to peak. Standing right in the middle here between these dormers. Now that I've got a nice mist on everything, I'll give it my final saturating coat. And we'll be able to get down confident in our process. All right, this project is done. Homeowners come home, we've walked around, everybody's happy. It is quarter past 12. This project took me about two hours and 15 minutes. That's the entirety of the house wash. The place was filthy, as you saw. I also washed that barn all wrapped up, ready to go. I'm gonna go grab me some lunch. Talk to you real quick. All right, we're set up over here in downtown Putnam doing this multifamily house. I think it's a four unit. This is an investor that I met this year who's given me a few of her multis. I think I have like six from this client and her personal residence and their business so i'll show you guys that today we're doing the business next but this is a two family i'm not expecting there to be much here no man, not many trees around same front and back so i'm just going up to check the drains we'll see what we got okay. and as suspected there's nothing there's nothing in that one nothing as far as i can see on that one so we'll go check the back so a project like this, I gotta charge them something, right? I mean, 
I go up the ladder. So how do I come up with that? My gutter pricing is usually, if I'm looking at a property, pictures, $50 each trip up the ladder. So two here, 100 bucks. Man, it is such a nice day. I'm moving house washes ahead on the schedule. It's a couple things we had coming up in the next few days. And I said, you know what? It's so beautiful out. Let's wash now. We did. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Dirty side. Spraying the decks. We'll stand on the rocks over here. Take the shot and it's gonna come off. Right, we just cranked one more last house wash for the day. I'm wrapping it up. Five past four. This was seven or eight projects today. I don't remember. I'll have to count later. And I'm good and tired. Hopefully we'll sleep good tonight and catch you guys tomorrow.